Baker. I'm excited to show you umoo.com. It's a tool that we're just kind of first starting to fool around with. So if you want to try it out, let us know how you feel about it. That would be really helpful to the rest of our educators. So what it is, is it's audience response. So like the clicker things, you know, we used to do that. Uh, some of us still do that a lot. Um, they'll still work, don't be alarmed. But we're, you know, we're always looking for something more um, new and innovative. And this is a program that uses your phone. And it's free, and we like free. So uh, here's what you do. You go to uh, umoo.com, you'll set up an account. You'll start with a free account and then um, they have some kind of like overnight process that upgrades you to uh, a pro account if you have an at uomen.edu email address. I don't know, it's part of their uh, education uh, pricing. So let's see, then the way that it, they kind of separate it out by dates with this calendar thing, I don't really get that part. So I just do the plus and I create an event and then you add questions to it. I can do that real quick so that you can see what that looks like. Super easy. All you have to do is title your event. Just another event. For some reason, participants is a required field. I think that might be for like licensing purposes or something. Um, and then you can just add questions. These are all the different kinds of questions you can add. You can see it goes from cheesy, like um, games and raffles and stuff. Uh, but there are this, the tried and true, the survey is the just the usual multiple choice things. Q&A is an open-ended discussion thing, which I'm gonna show you because I think this is really a neat feature of this. So my Q&A topic is going to be, um, I don't know, do we have a question for the speaker? Okay, see, it sounds like I'm doing actual education. Whoa, all right, done. Done and done. So then there's that the just another event has been all scheduled. I'm already to use it. If I wanted to use that, I can hit the console and I can activate it. But I'm going to show that to you uh, with a different event. Do I want to do that? Yeah. Because what I the reason I'm doing that is because I want to show you one that has responses in it, so that when I click to the page that shows you the responses, it won't be embarrassingly blank. All right. So I have that. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Okay, so I, I wanted to click the, they, they call this a console, I'm not very familiar with that term, but I'm going to display this question, super easy to set up the buttons off the page. So then to get to the nuts and bolts of this, this is what you would have on the screen. So I'm doing my PowerPoint with research-based groundbreaking information. I want to know what people think, if they have any questions, I cut over to this. And uh, this is exactly what my audience would see. Go to umu.com, type in the PIN number, and then press the Join Session button. Um, they can do this on their phone or oh, obviously like a tablet or anything, or actually on a laptop if you're sitting in a computer lab -y, um type of a, a workshop. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do two. So I'm in Safari. And I'm doing umu.com. And it looks like this. Now that's hard to see. Anyway, it's asking for the pin. So I'm going to type in 988857. Now it says, do you have any questions? I'm going to say yes. So it didn't actually ask what your question is. That wasn't very smart. Okay. But then, the best part is, and below this video is a screenshot of this, is you can see everyone else's questions and I can thumbs up them. I can vote them up. I can plus one them. And, and also I could plus down them. That was like a downer. So, then as the instructor, I am going to be done. I saw seven people responded. I'm going to click next and it does this, which I think is sorry, whoever just called me. Anyway, I don't like the word cloud thing. Um, here is the responses. This is what I would show during would I show this during a group? Actually, I probably wouldn't. I would probably just look at this myself because I don't want to show questions I don't want to answer. I 
might be the advantage of this. But what happens is they put they get put in order. So the one with the most thumbs up uh, gets first, and then they go in order. So I can just page through the questions and see what's going on. If I was the speaker, I would actually probably do this on my phone because you can see um, the questions in a list bin instead of these weird bubbles. So that is Yumo.